What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to Community Season 2, episode number 24. In the last episode we saw the school get involved with paintball again. The winner gets $100,000. It looks like a damn zombie apocalypse up in the school with paintballs everywhere. Uh, Annie was at the top of her game. At first the group wasn't really working together. Britta, Shirley, and Troy were kind of working for Pierce, which is so strange. Why would you work for Pierce? Y you guys uh, all almost voted him out of the group, so yeah, let's all they work did, for him. And, like all he did was offer them more ammo, but like if he has all this ammo, why wouldn't like he could just turn it back against you? Yeah. Also, why wouldn't you just shoot him? Well, to be fair, he has a little fort where they took all your ammo. Probably yeah, but like get it back, like after you left. I don't know. Like the whole the whole concept was just ridiculous. Like, because anyone could have taken him out at any at any time. Yeah. Like he had, even his own men that were there who who were allowed to carry guns into the the fort. Mm -hmm. Any of them could have just shot him and taken over. Right. I wonder what happened. All well, no, actually, no. Never mind. Because I think what was his name, Black Rider or Dark Rider? Uh, I think Dark Rider. He, he took them all out, apparently. Except for Pierce, which is frustrating. And then at the end, Pierce was the one that took Dark Rider out after faking a heart attack. I mean, good on him, I guess, for getting like the toughest player out, but the fact that he stood there and none of the, everyone else in the study group, none of them shot Pierce when they all had the opportunity. Uh, Chang got out after he was destroyed by the ice cream ice cream workers or whatever. Well, he, Chang kind of deserved it. Like he was he was trying to play all sides. Yeah. Like just to like I mean I get it like it's all about self-preservation but still like He's not It's loyal. just a game. Like pick a side and you know just stick with it. Yeah. <laughs> um... You don't you can't you can't betray Every like every single group that you you try to side with, as soon as you feel like the next group has the upper hand, and then try and claim that you're the most loyal of anyone. True. Right. Yeah. Or like Lord, or not the most loyal, but didn't he just like run out shouting, "I'm super loyal"? Or yeah, something? he says something to that effect. But I will say, so other than Jeff, who did he betray? Because remember when he went to the cheerleaders? He betrayed. Well, we know he be he betrayed the math team to go oh yeah uh, he ran away to the cheerleader side but the cheerleaders all had him in the corner and they were about to shoot him so was it because he did he mention something about being like betrayal maybe, there maybe he it's possible that he tried to betray them mm. like we don't know yeah i wonder how he made it through around the school with that fucking blindfold but uh that you know that's a good point he 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 got pretty far <laughs> yeah he made it outside and he found people apparently he saw them at least he had to have known they were there but uh no he was shot down and now he is gone literally i was kind of hoping he would win he kind of needs it you know isn't he like homeless yeah he well we don't know i mean maybe i mean i'm pretty sure he doesn't need a hundred thousand we haven't but... yeah like we haven't really ha seen any reference to him living with jeff ever since the the episode where he kidnapped not shirley's kids yeah um uh, but Pierce is still on the run, and now it's him versus the study group. So we'll see what's going on with that. Well, not just them, though. Like, as we saw, the ice cream company brought out their own fucking mercenary team at the end. Yeah. That'll be interesting as well. I'm wondering if all of them are students or if they're all just workers because they just want to keep the $100,000. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description. And with that being said, let's just check it out. Season 2, episode 24. Oh, it's daytime. So they've been there for at least one full day. Yeah. Something's not right about the game. We just took out a guy who turned out to be a professional paintball assassin. A professional? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Why would someone who gets paid to do things be at Greendale? Wait, what? <laughs> That's <laughs> poor Dean. Hi, Pistol Patty. Did they take you hostage? 
this. Dean Spreck? Oh, from uh, City College. City College is trying to destroy Greendale, and they're an unstoppable juggernaut. Juggernaut. Which? What? What did he say first? It sounded like he said juggernaut. Their goal was to make us trash the school. We trashed it. Yeah, but we still might have a chance to hit them where it hurts. Their balls? No. Just below their balls? Their wallet, Leonard. I think it's called a taint. <laughs> Why do you think they sent in a ringer to win? It must be because we're entitled to the prize they promised. A hundred G's. Ooh, I could use that money. This is why we have to agree right now. I mean, that whoever wins, we give the money to Greendale. No! Hell no. Nah. I ain't in it for your revolution. I'm in it for me. <laughs> Abed, this was your idea. I know, but I'm calling He's in on character. Solar World before Jeff slouches into it by default. Ah. Uh, Stubborns, I need that vest. <sighs> oh, yeah, right. Give me the vest, laser breath. Before our conversation gets nasty. Forget your newborn child and think about the people that need you. What? What? I don't see you stepping up. I don't step up to being leader, Troy. I reluctantly accept it when it's thrust upon me. Oh, damn. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it's look. It's true. Say what you want. It's technically true. Pop. Pop what? Pop what? What is he trying to say? Pop? <laughs> it is now clear that we have no choice but to team up and defeat City College. I also have no choice but to accept the role thrust upon me. In what role would that be? No time to squabble, Troy. For Greendale on three. One, two. Jeff, every second counts. For Greendale on two. One. <laughs> Here, help me with this. Sure thing, Your Worship. I'm bad. <laughs> solo. It's making me embarrassed for you. Come on, admit it. You like He's... it. I like having conversations with adults. Playing Star Wars is worn out and immature. You like me because I'm immature. There's not enough immaturity in your life. She's oh my god. Us. <laughs> the Gatling gun inside the ice cream truck, which we will charge en masse, overwhelming their defenses and taking that gun for ourselves. Well, that's not how I would proceed. Troy, do you happen to have a better plan? I do happen, Jeff. I happen very much. We use sneak attacks to draw their patrols to the library, where one of us will pull the fire alarm, activating the sprinklers, which I will have rigged using my super plumbing skills to shower everything in the building with paint. Paint in sprinklers? Troy's plan is technically better. Yeah. I don't know what charging the truck has. Like, I don't think that's smart. And he's a good kid and a better shot. So listen up or you'll be floating home. Abed. Thank you, Abed. You don't want to get Annie to accidentally catch feelings when you're just playing a character. I'm so glad that we didn't shoot you. Now we have the tactical advantage of knowing that Jeff Winger wants to be a ballerina and that his Achilles heel is wieners. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> Why why would you announce yourself? Like I'm glad it worked in your favor right now, but come on. Be smart about this, guys. I think they're luring them. Yeah, but even if they're trying to lure them, like they if they can t if they can pick off a few in the process, why not? It's been a pleasure fighting with you. Some of us won't make it, but there is a place where we will all see each other again. And that place is Denny's. Which Denny's? We'll figure it out later, Donner. Yeah, the one near the 15 <laughs> exit. I'm banned from there. Well, then I guess I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Shirley, you have the most important job, okay? Yeah, yeah, pull the fire alarm. Can we move this along? Does that one actually work, though? Did they inspect it beforehand? I know. I think our only choice is to try to shoot our way out. Right. Commence Operation Troy's awesome leadership is never in doubt. Okay. This is a crazy paintball game, man. <laughs> this shit's lasted two days. Charge! Oh, shit. Well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to make it out of here alive.
stream it would end this way. What? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Solo after we die? Afraid not, doll. Once I'm gone, I'm gone. Oh. Okay. Annie, come on. You had to know. Damn, they're really going at it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Is it really gonna work again. Cool. <laughs> well, I'm glad they had a good time, but hopefully Annie's uh, okay after this. Shirley, what are we supposed to do? How about we save this fool's ass? Deal. So it's them and Pierce. Is Pierce still alive? Yeah, he has to be, because he tricked that dude. Win! We win! Oh, we win! Pierce is going to win, right? Probably. Oh, shit. Oh. We win! We win! Yes! Oh. <laughs> All right! <laughs> way to shoot. All right, we did it! Yeah, way to oh, wait, that's Pierce. Yes, who are you? Your mother's lover! <laughs> <laughs> And you can make the check out to Green Day. Uh -oh. oh. I mean, that's nice and all, but it's gonna cost a hell of a lot more to fix everything that you that they fucked up, man. Yeah. Final order of business. Pick a class we can all take in the fall. We could just take Anthro two oh one. Too risky. Sequels are almost always disappointing. Since when are you in favor of playing it safe, Han? Cool down, Annie. I was only Han oh, Solo because the context demanded it. But here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Starburns. Yeah, he uses some kind of crystal instead of deodorant. <laughs> I guess I assume eventually I'll be rejected, so I, you know, test people, push them until they prove me right. It's a sickness, I admit it, but this place has always accepted me, sickness and all. This place accepted all of you. Sickness and all. Don't go out of your way to be a villain. <laughs> and we were just picking a class we could all be in this fall. And we'd love for you to join us. No thanks. I'm done with you guys. What? I like the school, but I'm done with whatever you call this. Adios. Okay, then fuck you. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's just acting. I've seen this behavior before. Britta, you're wrong so often. <laughs> it's true. And now, he'll come slinking back in five, four, three, two. I guess he's not coming back, huh? All right, that was season two, episode number 24 of Community. Man, that was a hell of an ending. I was not expecting that with Pierce. Yeah, so, like, is he written off the show? Or are they going to try and get him back at the beginning of the next season? I don't know. Like, like I know we've read things about, like, Chevy Chase's actual, like, beef with the director or whoever produced the show. But I didn't think that it would like end in season two. Yeah. And like the, if that was how they wrote him off, like that's a weird way of writing him off. Like I understand, like he played the villain throughout basically all of season two. Yeah. And Pierce is like, all has always just been kind of an asshole, but 
for for them writing him off to basically be him just going fuck you and walking out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean he's got to suck for but I don't know, it might be the perfect way if you think if you think about it. Like why would they end with uh, everyone being fine with each other at this point? I mean, like Pierce mentioned that he's been there for like 12 years, right? Yeah. Which is like so unnecessary because he owns like multiple businesses. He has all this money. He like he doesn't need to be there. So like after the episode where he got engaged, I thought maybe they would like if they were going to write him off um that maybe they would write him off like with just getting like him having his wedding with her and then deciding that you know it's time for him to move on well i don't think at the end of the episode they i don't think they were engaged i think they just kind of went out right i well the, if they got engaged like at the beginning of the episode like, right that's what i meant like and okay. then they sort of got together yeah yeah i just wasn't really expecting that I don't mind the direction. It's just gonna. If this was the last episode with Pierce, I think that would suck. Because even though yeah. he was an asshole, he was a fun addition to the show. Yeah, he was a good character, and he was a good villain. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, he ended up winning the whole thing, the whole paintball match for the school. So they and it ended up turning out not to be an ice cream company. Didn't even mention that it was City yeah. College's dean who mm-hmm. concocted this whole plan. To destroy Greendale. Why? No idea. So just some weird rivalry between these two community colleges. Yeah. I I mean, I think... I don't know why you'd be in a rivalry with Greendale. Like, you clearly won. (laughs) Yeah, just like Greendale simply existing as it is. You already got the upper hand. Uh, Whatever. But, uh... He... They turned it into this whole Star Wars thing. Abed was acting like Han Solo. Yep. <sighs> Poor Annie, man. I guess. Like she, <laughs> she like she want. It's like she just wants to be loved, and it won't. Like nothing works out for her. Troy didn't notice her at all. With Jeff, she was too young for him. And then Abed was playing it. Was playing a character, and like you saw it coming, yeah. right? Like. He was only flirting with her because that's what the character would do. And, like, you can see how she was getting into it. But, you know, like, when the city, like, like you said, like, when the situ, like, it was only because the situation called for it. And as soon as they were out of that situation, he had no reason to play the character. Yeah. I mean, good for them. They got to have uh, some fun, I guess. They, like, that was a pretty intense makeout session they were having. <laughs> <laughs> but,. You know, it it had to come to an end. <laughs> it felt for the, for them to stop, and then he's just like, "Cool," and then he walked away. <laughs> like, uh, I just, I just feel bad for Annie. Yeah, what happened to Chang? Uh, he was there. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Like, like you, I think he was like wrapped in a blanket or something. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't notice. But yeah, that's about it. It was was the finale. Uh, I, I'm hoping Pierce is in it, but uh, I doubt it. It kind of sucks, but we'll see. We'll see where they go. I am excited for season three to start. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. No spoilers, please. Uh, if you're interested in our full-length reactions, you can check this out along with all the other shows that we're reacting to on our Patreon that's in the description down below. So with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next one.